What would this celebration be without a birthday cake? I've called upon the expert, Wanda Beaver, to join me and show us how to decorate this already gorgeous birthday cake. We're doing a Chinese theme, so what we're going to do is decorate the cake in sort of a traditional colors of, of a Chinese celebration, which is gold and red. Wonderful. And I've got a symbol that is uh, a symbol for good fortune in Chinese, more of a generic have a good year kind Here's of symbol. Here's to you kind of thing. Yeah. You bet. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace it out on the cake in red icing. And then I've got some nice gold dust, and this is 24, 23 karat gold dust, and it it's it's edible, which makes it uh, something you can usually use for decoration without any problem. Okay, now let's see red icing. Well, I'm, I'm noticing a couple of things. Number one is a, a very steady hand, and also the tools that you're using. Um, the pastry bag that you're using is it done? Sometimes I've seen them made with, with wax paper, Wanda, but this one is a professional pastry. Well, you can buy these at most uh, cake decorating places, and, and most towns have a lot of cake decorating stores. Oops. So you've had a little break there, but you're just able to yeah, pick it up you and can continue. Pick it up. Good for you. And w about the nib, what nib are you using here? This is a small one. I think it's a number four. Uh -huh. It's a plain one, but uh, you can use a, a wax paper bag, but this will give you more control. You'll get a nicer, rounder pipe. You, you, it won't be erratic. It'll come out very evenly. But yeah. you just have to practice a little bit. And how long have you been practicing this art? Well, I've been in the business for about 12 years, but cakes are something that I always did as a, as a kid, you know, you sort of get into the baking. After your first few disasters, whoops, you can get better and better at it. Wanda, you had mentioned earlier that you had already cut out the template for our lucky symbol, our design, um, and you just used a white piece of paper. That's all you need. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. You don't need plastic because it's not, you're not going to be using it for very long. There we go. And you've just made that design yep. and, and followed it through with, with this symbol of luck. Good luck. And it looks sort of like a, one of those Chinese cloisonne. You could fill it in or you can leave it like that. We're going to sprinkle gold dust in there. Or you could actually fill the whole thing in with icing or mm -hmm. maybe make another different colored one. Yep. And next we're going to do the, uh, the chocolate. This is chocolate ganache. Now chocolate ganache is very versatile. It's something you can use for decorating cakes. It's chocolate mixed, melted with whipping cream and you cool it. When it's warm, you pour it over the cake and get this nice even finish. And when you cool it, you'll get, it becomes an icing. Okay, it's, it's matching this. It's the same stuff, only it's that the stuff on top has been poured. So you've, you've uh, put an entire coating of chocolate ganache on this cake. Yes, th there is a chocolate ganache with a buttercream underneath. Now this is a different, uh, a different nib that you're using. This is a star-shaped one. It's a, it's a smaller one. If you were doing, wanting to do big rosettes, you would use a bigger one. Yeah. And you can, you can be adventurous, you know, get something that sort of has a, like a dragon look for it. Now, not only is this icing amazing, but let's talk a little bit about the, the actual cake itself. Well, it's a dark chocolate cake um, with chocolate buttercream and then chocolate ganache poured over it with chocolate, <laughs> like it's chocolate this with chocolate great. with chocolate. We call it a double Dutch chocolate cake uh -huh. because it has two layers of chocolate icing. Wonderful. I can hardly wait to try it. Give me a knife. Red and gold are the Chinese celebration, usually for New Year or mm -hmm. some other celebration. We had talked earlier about how this is edible and that gold, I guess, must have some sort of like, we were saying reju rejuvenation well, kind of quality. Well, that's what they say, that eating gold or silver is actually good for you on some, uh, some level, considered uh, some kind of uh, health thing with, or kind of an esoteric health thing. Yeah. It's supposed to be, uh, it doesn't hurt you, that's for sure. Wow, this looks just great. For a little added touch, if oh, you want a little more of the red. You're still going. If you want to add a little red, you can get a little extra addition of red dots. Well, it's, it's, a, it's another little, again, it just tying in the whole color, uh, the gold and the red color. And, and it looks especially nice on the chocolate. Gives it a nice celebratory kind of feel, very festive, very festive. I'm ready to celebrate for sure. Well, let's go. Let's, you want to? No, no, we can't. We have to wait for the birthday girl.